speaking up for someone who can't. Free Julian Assange. Relatives and supporters of Julian Assange blasting the UK government's decision to approve his extradition to the United States. Democracy dies in the darkness and today is a dark day for democracy. We find it a bit shameful that the United Kingdom has conspired in this process to bring an end to freedom of the press. The WikiLeaks founder is wanted on 18 charges, including espionage and hacking. If convicted, Assange's lawyers say he could face up to 170 years behind bars. Independent MP Andrew Wilkie says it's long past time Australia's leader directly intervened. All I can say now is days matter. You know, don't wait till Monday, Albo. Pick up the phone this weekend and talk to Boris Johnson and talk some sense into him. I have no doubt that Anthony Albanese has a good enough relationship with Joe Biden to pick up the phone to the US president and say, end this madness. It's gone on long enough. Calls from the crossbench are growing with new Teal MPs Allegra Spender, Zoe Daniel and Sophie Scamps calling for intervention and guarantees. British governments almost always approve Washington's extradition requests, so from that perspective, this decision isn't a major surprise. But Mr Assange's family says the new Australian government could offer them some hope. The Australian Prime Minister has expressed in the past uh, his view of this prosecution, of, of, of Julian's imprisonment, and I hope that um, the Australian government can follow through on its principles. In a statement, the Australian government noted the decision of the United Kingdom, saying that it cannot intervene in the legal matters of another country. But the government has successfully intervened in the past, Mr Assange's legal team argues, citing David Hicks, an Australian who was detained by the US in Guantanamo Bay 20 years ago. The Howard government at the time brought him back to Australia. So this is not unprecedented. A UK court blocked extradition last year, but after promising not to put Julian Assange in solitary confinement, the United States convinced a higher court that his mental health could be protected and his risk of suicide could be managed. Now lawyers for the Australian will launch their own appeal based on the central issues of his case. There still are the outstanding questions of abusive process, the free speech questions, the fact he will not get a fair trial in the United States. Julian Assange will remain behind bars while he waits for his appeal, a process that could take months. Nick Dole, ABC News, London.